Yo, what's going on guys, it's me, Jody. Today, we're going to be looking at what the stock market's been going through and what it's, what's going to happen to it until November and what's going to happen after November. So we're basically just going to be looking at the stock market, you know, as it follows the election. So, let's go. Alright, so let's start off with what's happening right now. Of course, we know the stock market's been going down since the coronavirus first started. So ever since that happened, the, the market took a dip. Slowly, it's recovering and it's kind of getting there. Um, it's, not, it's still not at its, you know, normal functioning peak yet. But it's slowly getting there, and I'm sure it's going to hit that point pretty soon. As soon as all this pandemic stuff goes away and we start opening up businesses, I'm sure it'll be fine. But let's get to the, let's get to the main point that you guys all came here for. Joe Biden. So we basically know that Joe Biden is making a pretty serious push to become a president. Pretty much right now, he is in the, in the front, and he's the front runner for becoming president, which might sadden, Demo which might sadden Republicans, but we'll get to that later. So basically, if Biden runs for president and he be win, and if he wins, you're going to see a huge dip in the stock market. That's what they're predicting because of the fact that all the Trump led all, all the Trump led laws and all the Trump led things are going to go down south because of the fact that he will no longer be president. So, of course, Joe Biden's hand will raise and most of the things that he supports will get a boost and they will have a hike. So that's basically that's basically the main reason why. Most people do not want Biden to win. It's because of the fact that if he does win, then the market's already at a low and we don't know if it's going to bounce back by November. And if it doesn't, and if Biden wins, then it's going to take an even bigger dip, which if you're smart, should be a good thing. But of course, no one will see the market dip if they're going to be working in companies. So the Dow, which is one of the biggest indexes where pretty much anybody who gauges the stock market will look at Dow and kind of gauge what's happening. And of course, it took a huge dip when the, when the coronavirus pandemic went on, and now they're planning, and now they think it'll take another dip. And today is actually an official day when they say that it's going to go at its lowest. So we'll see what happens as the trading hours go on. But Dow's been not been doing too well, so we need to wait and see what's going to happen with that. Now let's go to the Republican side. If Donald Trump wins presidency, they think that the market is going to get balanced because within the past couple of weeks. It's been at its highest ever since Donald Trump passed a couple of these laws. And of course, he brought it up at the Tulsa rally. So if Trump wins again, the market shouldn't suffer too much. But if Biden wins, then the market should take a little peak drop. Because, of course, when the presidency changes, things change with it. Just like four years ago when Trump first got elected, the market changed a lot. The same way it's going to change now. So guys, I will keep you guys updated on whatever happens with the market. And make sure you guys go to the conversation and let me know. Are you investing in any stocks or do you work in any of these companies? And if the market goes down, what's your plan? And give me like a date, guys. When do you think that the pandemic is going to be over? And when do you think we're actually going to go back to normalcy? Or do you think that the stock market's going to go up? So, guys, make these predictions. Leave them in the comment section below, guys. Go follow me on Instagram, at jd.solomon. And make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.